Babysitters of Reddit. What were the weirdest rules parents asked you to follow? Babysat for a woman who knew my mom. She had two kids, both acted like feral animals, kicked and bit me very hard when I told them no. She had her TV behind a plexiglass thing because they keep breaking TVs. She had locks on the outside of the bedroom door and crib set up that essentially locked the younger kid, 3 or 4 years old, into her crib. It had a top that you pulled down and padlock to the sides. It was absolutely horrific. The kids screamed bloody murder when I tried to get them to listen. Their grandma who lived next door came over. Did she come over to help me out? No. She gave these kids cookies and crap talked me for not being able to control them. Like it's my fault that her grandkids act like animals and not the fact that their mother apparently treats them like animals and she herself gives them treats when they have temper tantrums instead of putting them in time out like a normal person. Their mom promised to be back by 9. Important because I was in high school. She wasn't back until 2am and that was after I started calling all the bars to find her. I was planning to eat dinner afterwards so I was starving. I called my mom and she ordered delivery for me. The grandmother got pee that she didn't order enough for the kids too and guilted me into sharing it. The mom finally came home, paid me $10 for 10 hours of babysitting even though we agreed on $20 for 5 hours and proceeded to crap talk me next time she went out saying I was lazy and a bad babysitter. She said I should have beat their asses and locked them in the bedroom when they started acting up. My mom and I contacted CPS afterwards a few times, unfortunately nothing came of it. Where I live they give people 24 hour notice before inspecting a house so I'm sure she was able to hide whatever. Or they just gave her a warning idk. I never babysat there again. Even $20 for 5 hours with well behaved kids would have been way too little. Sounds like truly horrible people who just wanted to use you. The mother asked me to stop by the house to meet her 2 year old son a week before I was supposed to babysit him for the first time. I pulled up to the house and saw that the young boy was standing at the glass front door with a t-shirt on and nothing else. I go in and I must have given the child a strange look because the mom started to explain that her son doesn't like to wear pants so they let him run around pants less with no diaper on, though he isn't potty trained. I told her that this made me uncomfortable and asked if I could put pants on him when I was watching him. And she got upset with me and said they don't like to make their 2 year old son do anything he doesn't like to do so they let him run around without pants on. Which unfortunately means he goes to the bathroom on the floor since he won't wear a diaper and he isn't potty trained. Not a bad idea to meet the parents and kid first though. Not a rule, as I only went there once, but a very odd request. I used to work housekeeping at a hospital. A doctor that was frequently on the floor that I worked on asked me if I could watch his kids on Saturdays. He had three toddlers, ages 2, 3, and 4. His wife didn't work but wanted time to go shopping and get her hair and nails done. I totally understand, as my son was 4. I was also allowed to bring him. I get there early as the doctor is getting ready to leave. He says he's cooking breakfast and while he gets the kids fed and dressed could I help change his wife's tampon. She drank a lot the night before and was completely passed out and was leaking and messing up their sheets. He's a doctor. I told him I should work for someone more than a few minutes before I go rummaging in their private parts and that I'd tend to the kids if he tended to his wife. What I really wanted to do was leave but the kids would be home alone with their hungover mother so I chose to finish cooking and stay. He went upstairs and sent the kids to the kitchen where I was putting food on plates. After a little while he popped his head in and said it was a short day. He was done upstairs, and he was leaving. I never met the wife. He came home at noon, gave me $100, and I never spoke to him again. This is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. I never really had any rules to follow but I did have one terrible mother. The mom asked me to babysit her three kids overnight. As I was in high school I couldn't do it, so she said she could be back by 9pm. I figured it was fine, and let my mom know, even though they only lived a few houses away, the kids were great. We played around, watched a movie, I fed them and put them to bed. 9pm rolls around and the mom was nowhere to be found. She hadn't left a number to reach her, and I figure she was just running behind. I cleaned up and watched some TV while waiting for her. 10pm hits. Not home. 11 p.m. Nope. Finally at around 12 p.m. I call my mom. I explain what's up. 
that I am tired and have school in the morning act. She agrees to come and stay away the house with the kids till their mom shows up. Turns out she didn't come home till around 10am the next morning, long after my mom had called CPS. She gave my mom $20 for 16 hours of babysitting. None of the neighborhood kids were allowed to babysit for her after that. When I was 14 the neighbors asked me to come for an interview as a babysitter. They were on a couch and I was sitting in a couch opposite. Every time I looked at the dad he would shift his eyes down to his lap. Eventually, I also looked down on his lap. He was wearing very short shorts with no underwear and his penis hanging out against his leg. Needless to say, I declined the offer. Edit okay. I found another post about him. I was somewhere between 12 and 14 when this all went down. I may have been younger. This was almost 20 year years ago. I don't know how to link to old comments on mobile but here it is from a couple years ago. A pandemonium. 2Y. When I was about 12 years old the next door neighbor's husband started beating the crap out of her in the middle of the night. Kicked her out of the house. Then was holding the baby hostage. I woke up to screaming and crying coming from the bathroom as my mom and the neighbor lady hid. Let me and mom I screamed. Terrified. He's not going to hurt you. You're safe. Some crap along those lines. Mom won't let me in the bathroom. Crazy boyfriend now has broken a window and says he is going to come in and kill us all. We lived in a crap butt neighborhood and this was in the 80s. The police said this was domestic dispute and wasn't a priority unless we knew the guy had a gun. For a good 20 minutes we listened the guy hollering that he was going to kill himself. Kill the baby. Kill us. Mom still wouldn't let me. And my brother who was now awake. Into the bathroom. The only door with a freaking lock. I would also like to point out this is fuck but had also, at one point, flashed his dong at me and told me I looked like I was built for sex. Remember, I was 12 years old. Anyhow, I finally snuck into the dining room which is where the broken window was and also where the phone was. We didn't have a cordless guys. This was the 80s. I called the police and lied. I told him I heard a gun go off and now the baby wasn't crying. Three more minutes and there was like a freaking SWAT team on our street. That was one of the most terrifying moments in my life. I babysat my four cousins once, age maybe 8 to 12. One night, they all asked for me to read a story, so I happily obliged. When I told my aunt, she replied, they're much too old for that. Why did you do it? Well if the kids want a story, I'll read them a story. Why the heck not? I've read stories to my 35 plus husband before. In the car though, not before bedtime. My aunt isn't evil and isn't someone who would put her kids in front of some trashy reality show. They're an upper middle class, well educated family. In fact, my uncle collects amazing, mostly European graphic novels. And the kids have always had access to culture, books, museums, concerts. I think my aunt just meant something like you didn't have to do that and howled from them she doesn't have any filter and is usually quite blunt. Maybe the kids never asked her to read to them. Then again. Yeah, in the end, it just sounded wrong. But, like, chill. Poor kids, they were probably starved for attention. My mom was an elementary school teacher. When my kids were young and she'd come to visit, I'd always go in the room and listen when she read to them. There's something really soothing about having someone read to you. <laughs> Refused to let their kids eat raw veggies for absolutely no reason. They never told me this. So I gave the kids ages 5-7 raw. Washed and cut broccoli with some ranch for a snack. They were happily eating as the mom was getting ready for a party. She walked by, saw the kids eating the broccoli, took it from them, microwaved it and said they like it much better this way. The kids did not like it better and even they thought it was weird. I was then instructed to never give them raw veggies. I could understand if they were toddlers still learning to chew. But these kids were plenty old enough to chew broccoli florets without choking. Mom probably has a germ thing. I have run into several people who don't trust raw veggies that can be cooked. Which makes no sense since they will eat raw fruit. I'm a professional nanny and one of the families I worked for had a strict no games rule. Not as in video games, but as in any game that could have a winner and a loser. No board games. No tag. Nothing. Winning and losing leads to hurt feelings was their explanation. I'd have to stop the girls anytime they said something like I bet I can get to the end of the driveway faster and remind them mom and dad say no competition. 
Remember everything had to be perfectly equal or the parents would lose it completely. I fired them as clients shortly after. I fired them as clients shortly after. I love your outlook and envy it. I wish I could fire some bosses. Years ago I was a nanny and the mom told me that they didn't use the word no. Instead to redirect the child when they were doing things that weren't nice. Basically think of PC principles mom and you've got my former boss. Couldn't say the kid was doing something bad etc. As most of you parents and babysitters can imagine he was a perfect little demon. The day I quit was when he took a knife off the counter and tried to stab me with it. For his safety and mine I grabbed it away in which set off the fuckest and most spoiled tears you've ever heard. I explained to my boss that I could no longer watch the child because redirecting him to calmly lay down the steak knife was a job for a police officer and a hostage situation. Not a minimum wage college student. When I was about 15 I was asked by a family in my church to babysit for them. I didn't know them all that well. Like... I had never babysat anyone before and have no idea why they asked me. This family had a daughter about a year younger than me, so I figured she wasn't going to be home. I found out not only that she was going to be home, but the primary reason I was there wasn't for her two younger sisters, but for her. I guess she got nightmares and if she woke up I was supposed to hug and kiss her. This was quite the shocker to me and I was really uncomfortable with it, but I stayed anyway. Luckily she didn't wake up. Incidentally, the couple later got divorced. I think I was babysitting while the mom cheated. He was on a business trip. This is still mind blowing to me. I was their everyday nanny. I got the kids off the bus at like 2.30 and then hung out with them until 6. Sometimes later, I was told the first day I was under no circumstances to punish the kids. I just simply had to separate them. I was forbidden from going upstairs, again, under any circumstances, so I was limited to living room kitchen dining room and a less formal living room, because this happened in January in Connecticut it's freezing out, now I'm not a psycho, I would have just made them go to their room, or taken away TV time. I also came with a mile long list of references from other, rich, families in the neighborhood. Guess how long it took for 4 boys, 10, 8, 6. 6. To figure out I couldn't punish them or follow them upstairs. Like 2 days. So about a month and I'm at my wits end. I'm on the verge of quitting because the kids were horrible and the expectations were insane. How am I supposed to make a kid do his homework if he's hiding upstairs where I can't go? So one day the 8 year old sumo smashes one of the 6 year olds into the coffee table. So I punish him. I make him sit in a chair in the other room and took away his iPad time. Mum comes home while kid is sitting in the corner. It's awkward. She pays me. I leave with no intention of ever coming back. And then she fired me over text an hour later lol. This was way back in the mid 90s. Remember before we had DVR and all that jazz. And the only way to see what was currently on each channel was to whip out your TV guide. Or bring up the TV guide channel on your TV and watch the scrolling bars until you found something decent. In the early mid 90s advertisers figured out that the TV guide channel was a great advertising medium and would show ads on the top right of the screen and compress the scrolling shows playing now. But the parents wouldn't allow me to turn on that channel because of the questionable content of the ads. For things like laundry detergent or PG movie previews. The kids were 8 and 11, and were allowed to watch only a very select subset of shows that were usually geared towards kids 5 years younger than them. Nickelodeon was banned in that house, as were the words shucks, hate, and um. Comma if you hear him crying don't comfort him, call us and we'll come home and see to him. He eventually got old enough to come find me and you know I gave him cuddles. I'm not heartless. Comma got annoyed I used the phone charger that was left plugged in next to the sofa. She literally trusted me with her daughter and not her phone charger. Comma you can help yourself to any of the food but can't use any plates cutlery. Seems odd. Comma not so much annoying but funny. I had to put the younger girl to bed. Pretend to put the older girl to bed. And then sneak the older girl back downstairs. I once babysat for a kid for a weekend while his brother and parents went for a weekend in the mountains. Kid had done some dumb kid thing and was grounded. Rules. No TV. No contact with other kids. I was explicitly told that I could take him to the playground. But if another kid showed up, we needed to leave. Now, I was a college student. Campus was walking distance. 
So we went to a couple baseball games, walked around the library, hung out with some of my friends while they day drunk on the lawn. Kid was asleep when his parents got home Sunday night. I got a call the next day from his mom thanking me for taking such good care of him, but lamenting that as a punishment. It was wildly unsuccessful because he couldn't stop talking about how much fun he had and how he wanted to spend every family vacation with me. I'm pretty sure he was overselling my Mary Poppins abilities to irritate his parents and make his brother jealous. But you know what? I'm not going to go out of my way to make a kid feel miserable. I'll follow a parent's rules. But my primary role is keeping the kid safe, fed, and tuckered out at the end of the day. I was a nanny several years ago for a couple with two girls ages 2.5 and 6 months. The toddler didn't care for nap time. She would play with her toys or play dress up, so her folks took all her clothes and toys out of her room. But then she just sat and talked to herself during nap time. Eventually they discovered that she was terrified of being locked in her room, and that if that happened, she would scream and cry until she tired herself out and passed out on the floor by the door. And so that was what I was supposed to do for nap time. I didn't do it and eventually they found out and fired me. 15 stroke 10 would refuse to lock a toddler in her bedroom again. Sounded like she just outgrew her nap time. Poor kid. The mother of the kids whom I babysat for asked me to wash her industrial sized windows in my lunch break. When the kids had a nap. But didn't pay me extra for it. They were filthy windows because she lived on a high floor of an apartment building and it was during cyclone season so there was lots of dust and rain stains mixed together. Whenever I'd clean the windows, she'd be in the house, on her laptop at the dining table, watching me and pointing out areas I'd missed. I was 18 and very intimidated by her so I did it a few times. Now I'm 26 and I just can't believe the audacity of her to ask me that. Like at least offer extra money or make lunch for me etc. Also, she would always come home and say do you mind if I pay you next time, for this shift and the next one altogether? And then when the next shift arrived she'd say that she thought she already paid me for the previous one. I kept track of the payments and dates in my phone to prove her wrong. I disliked confronting her but I was a poor uni student so I definitely stood my ground with that. Oh yeah, the kids were in diapers until they were 3, and I was required to change their diapers, even though I likely suggested they should be going through potty training. 3 year old poop is really disgusting compared to baby poop, so glad those days are over. <laughs> Babysat for my parents friends, they had 3 out of control kids, ages 8-12. Three kids are all out in the yard playing with other neighborhood kids. I'm doing dishes in the kitchen. I watch through the window as a little boy starts to tease one of the kids I'm babysitting. Go to the door to break things up. By the time I've gotten to the door, the 8 year old has found a carpenter's knife and stabbed the kid teasing his sister. This knife was old and rusty AF. After everyone calmed down, and I'd walked the kid over to their parents and explained what happened. I called the mom at work to tell her what had happened in their yard. Her response, is that something you think I should punish him for? Never babysat for them again. My mom asked me to babysit her friend's kid. I was already in my 20s and had a job already. I didn't need to do it but decided to help her out. I get to her place, she shows me around. The weirdest thing was if he has a hard time sleeping, bring him under this ceiling fan and he may be mesmerized. If not, put him in his crib and run the hair dryer underneath his bed. Yup, hair dryer. Under the bed on THR carpet. Then, I find out that the dad was going to be home the whole time but working. That was frustrating since I didn't really want to be there. I thought they were so stuck to find someone. Whatever, I do it. She doesn't get home until 8 hours later and only after I call her a few times saying I didn't expect to stay that long. Meanwhile the dad comes upstairs, makes himself food. She finally gets home and they both thank me for helping out and they give me a bottle of wine as payment. I said I don't drink, actually and they said oh you can gift it to someone. Still so mad, 20 years later. I used to be vegan when I was a teenager and babysitting half the neighborhood's kids. I wasn't pushy about it, I promise. It only ever came up when people asked. I went to restaurants with others, or when the nicer parents offered to order food, usually pizzas, for me and their kids while I babysat. My usually response was, that would be great, I won't be eating any, though, 
so don't worry about it order a lot of food. No worries, I can cook for the kid. S. If you prefer, one more my babysat for did not like this. She ordered two pizzas every time I babysat. She had two kids under 10, no way could they plow through that much pizza. She was well aware, and even began requesting I pay her back for the waste of food I caused her. She then told all the other families I babysat for that I had forced her kids to eat vegan food, sorry I gave them vegetables, like once, and had been pushing my agenda on them. I had apparently been telling them meat is bad, etc. She even went as far as claiming I showed her kids pictures of maimed animals to try and convert them. She made rules according to those accusations, asked me not to do all this crazy shit I hadn't been doing in the first place, also requested I stop being vegan, as it was harming her children, but she kept requesting that I watch her kids, noped out of that gig real fast, also noped out of veganism a few years after, but that's neither here nor there. I've been a nanny for 7 years and have dealt with so much awful crap, but the worst job was this little 4 year old who had severe separation anxiety. The dad worked from home but locked the door so she knew he was there but just ignoring her. She'd claw and wail at the door all day. I'd physically lift her up and put her in her playroom where she'd just yell louder. I went 5 days a week for 2 weeks and every time she'd just cry hysterically when her dad shut the office door to work like absolutely nothing would calm her until she just eventually pretty much passed out from exhaustion. The dad had a conference call one day and told me to drive her to the park so I was like sure okay. We get there and she's losing her mind still and now all the other people are just staring at her so I put her in the car and called the mom and she said go get her McDonald's. So I do all of this and nothing stops the crying but at this point I just tuned it out and let her scream in the car until his hour call was over. Finally the day is over and the dad comes out of his office and was mad at me for not keeping her quiet for longer and on top of that refused to pay me back for gas or McDonald's. I was only making $6 an hour too because the mom was a co-worker of my step aunts and I wanted to be nice. Anyway I went home that day and immediately quit BC they paid terribly and it wasn't worth it. I heard from my step aunt the next day that the mom was crying in her office because her child is so horrible that no one will watch her. They were terrible parents and I felt a little bad for the girl but I was 16 and in no place to tell the parents they sucked. TLDR. Got paid $6 an hour and was forced to drive the kids places and buy her food without any reimbursement. Parents were terrible and she was hysterical the whole time. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.